Hi, this is your host Sudan Bharti, and welcome to another episode of TFR Newsroom. And today we have with us once again Dean Agron, CEO and co-founder of Oxai. Dean, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you, Swab. Glad to be here. Yeah, and today we're going to talk about the availability of cloud native application security testing platform. Uh, so tell us a bit about it. What what is it? So um, generally speaking, in Oxai, we are looking to take the application security testing landscape. Uh, finding vulnerabilities in the code, finding vulnerabilities in third-party packages, finding hard-coded secrets, validating that applications arrive to production when they are overly secured. We're taking this landscape and actually rebuilding it towards the cloud-native era, uh, building a solution which integrates with CICD and cloud-native environments, uh, building a solution that adds context, the cloud-native context per each vulnerability that it finds, and eventually allows the dev teams and security AppSec teams to discover the application, understand its structure, understand the vulnerabilities, prioritize them based on the context, and provide the developers and AppSec teams with clear remediation guidance on how to resolve these vulnerabilities. If you look at security vulnerability, there are two things happening. Number one is that there's much more awareness now. Also, unlike in early days, where security was someone else's problem, it is moving into developer DevOps. There are specific rules, DevSecOps teams that look at it, but to be honest with you, the rules you know overlap so much that you know the same folks end up doing everything else in most cases. But and second thing is the cloud adoption is growing, which also means there are a lot of players who are embracing cloud. And if you look at just the complex complexity of cloud, it makes things very very challenging. So when you look at these two things. Uh, what are the new challenges that you see are there for developer, DevOps team, SREs team, whatever label you want, that you are like, hey, well, this is a big problem. Let's solve this. And that's why I created this uh, testing platform. So I, I, would, I would take each of, the, each of the things you said and I'll, and I'll collaborate all of them together. On the one hand, <clears throat> we see major growth in the amount of developers. And because of that, because the ratio of developer teams to AppSec teams becoming so high, then developers must take more ownership over security. They need, need there's, there are new roles today, DevSecOps, product security, uh, uh, security champions within the dev organization, and they are, they are sharing the responsibility and ownership over security together with the AppSec engineers who's been there all along. So that's on the one hand. On the other hand, the shift towards cloud native, towards distributed, container-based, microservice-based applications uh, created uh, a new, I would say, created, created new gaps for existing solutions that were not designed for distributed, archi for distributed architectures. And the result, like in every security product, is not that there are, uh, uh, there are no results. It's the other way around. There are too many results. And these causes, cause frustration among the teams that now needs to collaborate bet better because what I've started with. So if I need to, to, to define it into three categories, I would say the first one is too many vulnerabilities. The technology has shifted, yet the solution remains the same. So the solutions are not designed towards distributed environments. That's one. The second thing is that a, a security teams and AppSec teams specifically are not familiar with the structure of this modern app because it has many components. So it's the visibility. And the third part is, I would say, the, the need or the need to overcome the frustration between the teams. Today, you have, you have developers, you have AppSec, you have product security. They all need to collaborate and be able together to make the application more secure. So these, I would say, the, the, the challenges that, you know, that we see. There were traditional security vendors who are now offer, also offering, you know, their solutions for cloud. And then there are, you know, next generation, you know, Oxide kind of folks who are born in the cloud native era and they are approaching security from that perspective. So if we look at just uh, Oxide, how different is it, you know, the approach that either traditional security vendors take or they are, you know, uh, next gen vendors as well? So I would say that there are many cloud security players, um, so, and, but most of them focus on the infrastructure. On the VA, on the a, 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 on the container, the cloud, and the cluster, they are not focusing on the actual code written by the developers, and that's exactly the spot where Oxide comes in. 
Now, regarding the supply chain challenge, I agree with you. Many companies today, you know, more than 70% of the code is, uh, uh, is a combination of third-party packages and, you know, and, and open source. So there is a need today to not only scan the, the, the open source code, the third-party packages, and understand whether they are updated or not, but there is a need for a more focus there to understand whether these packages are actually in use or not. Because if they're not in use, then they may be not updated, but it's not that of a severe uh, a, 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 a vulnerability. But if we have a package, an open source solution with an, a, a legacy version that is vulnerable and it is used and it is accessible from the internet, then that package must be updated to keep the application safe. And I think that's where the next generation solutions comes in, adding the context, understanding not only if there is a vulnerable package or not, but what is the context in which it is executed? A lot of folks who are moving to cloud, sometimes there is a misconception that cloud is going to take care of everything. The fact is, yes, it is elastic, it is scalable, but then there are a lot of things that you still have to deal with it yourself. You know, uh, security is one of those many things. So uh, what have you seen in the space where you come across customers or developers who were like, hey, you know what, yeah, I we moved to the cloud and it should have taken care of everything. And suddenly you're like, no, that's, that's still your problem. So. I would say in many cases, you know, the cloud vendors and the big players uh, or the big cloud players will provide you the, I would say the most basic tools. The ones that if you want to say that you're using it, okay, so you're using it. But in, in, in many companies that their security posture is, I would say medium to high, they need more than just the checkbox. They need a solution that they can really trust that in case someone tried to uh, attack, someone tried to attack them, they are secured uh, solutions that will validate their applications, whether or not those are vulnerable or not. And I, I will add one more thing. Specifically regarding to code vulnerabilities, um, the entry-level solutions provide you, can create too much noise. And that's the gap between the advanced solutions, which point out a short list of vulnerabilities to the, you know, to the entry level solutions that provide a very long list of vulnerabilities but you don't want when you don't know where to what to start with and that's you know again this is where the more advanced i would say a, a deep tech solutions comes into place on top of the basic functionalities that are provided by most of the cloud vendors and you know ecosystem players in the cloud today now i want to just go a bit you know uh, deeper into it can you also explain you know how does this testing platform work and you know what value it brings to developers, DevOps, and teams? So Arxa actually uh, consolidates the application security testing landscape by offering a, a, in one solution a combination of technologies, static technologies, dynamic technologies, interactive technologies, we, uh, and uh, uh, SCA technologies. But uh, uh, Arxa actually looks at it, not, at, not as many solutions on on the application, but as a funnel, you start with one solution, then you take the results and pass them through a, a, a filter, which is the, another solution. And each and every step of the way, the amount of exploitable vulnerabilities goes down because we start with scanning the code and then we move on to application flow tracing to understand whether the, this code is accessible from the internet. And then on, on the vulnerabilities that are accessible from the internet, we initiate active validation to actually validate that these vulnerabilities are, can actually be exploited. And all of that is done by deploying a container within the testing environment with a kubectl apply, and that's it. It's a very quick and easy deployment. The time to value is you know, between minutes to, to one to two hours. That's it. That's the time it takes. Deploying AXA is kubectl apply, a, a, of a YAML file or, or a Helm chart. And once it is deployed, it will auto update. So it's very, very quick and easy. It's part of the CI CD. And when, once it is deployed, it will initiate the whole test cycle or the whole final cycle of scanning the code, adding uh, application flow tracing, then validating via dynamic uh, 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 fuzzing and eventually providing the developers the short list of vulnerabilities with clear remediation guidance. Can you also talk about, of course, we touched upon it earlier, you know, uh, what are some of the key use cases that you see of Oxide in the enterprise space? Because as we talked earlier, you know, it's a busy and crowded space. So 
one of the main use cases is uh, uh, customers coming and saying, I'm using the uh, uh, incumbents in this market. They just don't work properly when it comes to, to, to cloud native to modern environments because they create too long lists. I need to clear the noise. So clearing the noise is the number one use case of, uh, of uh, uh, working with Oxide. The second one is, uh, and, and here I'm, I'm focusing on the supply chain, is let's say that I found a vulnerable package, SCA, a, a log for shell, for example, well-known uh, vulnerable package. I have hundreds of instances. With what do I start? Do I start with, uh, with which ones do I spend the weekend on fixing? And that's where Oxi finds the in-use packages, not just the, you know, uh, the, the long list of packages. And I think these are uh, main two use cases. And another uh, uh, functionality that we added is the software bill of material to allow the AppSec team to actually understand how the application is structured, what are the building blocks, and then they can map better what was uh, 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 tested, what was not tested, and, and, and improve their security posture of the application. Perfect. Uh, today we are talking about this new platform that you're uh, you know, announcing. Of course, there are a lot of things in pipeline that we can or cannot talk about at this point. We'll wait for those. But if I you know, ask you now, what are the things, uh, what are the you know, still gray areas that you see that you're like, hey, you know, we still have to solve those, which will actually give us a glimpse of what else to expect from Oxi. Sure, so I would say one of the core challenges is the combination of application layer vulnerabilities with infrastructure configuration. Because this is a new, it's a green field. And this is exactly where OXA research team is focusing on, to understand better how the infrastructure, how the infrastructure configuration and uh, execution affect the application layer uh, vulnerabilities. Because if you have a vulnerability that the, because of the way the container is configured, its criticality is much higher. It may affect, you know, the whole vulnerability prioritization. And that's a major thing, Oxi, we are working on as these days, in addition, of course, to broadening the, the, uh, uh, the support and accuracy with the amount of languages and support and with each language to add more and more knowledge uh, uh, into, the, uh, 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 into the vulnerability assessment process. Dean, thank you so much for taking time out today and of course talk about not only this uh, new platform that you folks are offering, but also talk about the larger problem that is there for DevOps team when it comes to security in the cloud native space. And as usual, I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Thank you very much, Swap. Glad to be here.